Hey guys, Steve Laffy, how you doing? A um, couple things I want to talk about Saturday um, Saturday morning when I do my little vlog. A um, couple of questions people have been asking me and a couple of things I want to go over that I found interesting. Um, first of all, I get a lot, a lot of people ask me, well, how come I always wear a hat? Why do I always wear a hat? Are you hiding something? No, I ain't hiding nothing. I got plenty of hair. We're getting a little gray, but the only reason I wear a hat is to keep the cobwebs out of my hair. I'm always down in basements, and uh, it's always loaded with cobwebs. I hate getting cobwebs in my hair, so that's why I always wear a hat. You always see me wearing a hat, because um, I'm a working man, and I'm always, you know, down in basements and crawl spaces. Sometimes I try to stay away from crawl spaces, but uh, in these basements, it's just loaded with cobwebs. And uh, that's the only reason why I wear a hat. And I'm not losing my hair. I got plenty of hair. You can see I got plenty of hair. So that's the reason. Um, well, the thing I, I got asked from this company, this AAB company, to do a review on some of their tools, these new tools that they're coming out for, for the cell phones and the... Uh, and the tablets and stuff, and I declined it because it's some Ralph's doing, uh, you know, tool reviews on the stuff. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna jump in on that. Let him do it. Uh, but they did, they did email me and ask me if I wanted to do them, and I, I declined. So uh, there's no sense in me doing it when him doing it at the same time. A lot of my subscribers subscribe to him, so I figured I would decline that. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was some of these refrigerators, these new refrigerators that they come out with now. Some of the old, uh, the R12 and the 502 was really bad for the ozone and had high global warming potential. Now, a lot of these guys say that, you know, they're concerned about global warming. This is the biggest thing they're concerned about global warming, right? Climate issues, climate change, global warming, gotta watch out, the planet has a fever and all this crazy stuff. So they come out with all this new refrigerant, right? These new blends and stuff, and they're not even they're not even pure refrigerants. And actually, all the new refrigerants have a higher global warming potential than 22 and 134A. R22 has a lower global warming potential than all the new refrigerants that come out. And I'm gonna do a little. I did a little video, and I put all from Dupont. I went actually. I had a little app on from Dupont, and it's got all the specifications on my phone a little PT chart app and I kind of like put the phone sideways and I did a little video so you'll see the pictures of the um the refrigerants but they'll be sideways and the third line from the bottom will say global warming potential and just look at that and all the numbers are higher R22 has an ozone depletion level of 0.05 which all the new refrigerants don't have an ozone depleting level but they have a higher global warming potential so, uh, I think it's a flipping scam the way they they change all this shit around. 134A is really good, actually. It's got the lowest of them all and zero, um, you know, global warming potential. Uh, but you could look at it for yourself and you decide. Um, I thought it was kind of kind of funny that, um, you know, all these new refrigerants would have a higher global warming potential, which that's what they're concerned about, the environment, the global warming, right? Is it or not? So why is all the new refrigerants have a higher level than R22? And they're getting rid of R22. It's all about money. It's all about money and, uh, you know, <laughs> even 134A, they, they're doing away with that. And that's a real good refrigerant. That's a straight refrigerant. It's not a blend. All these flipping blends that they come out with, you got to put them in as liquid because they'll, they'll fractionate. And uh, all the old, all the old R12 and 502 is pretty bad for the environment. You'll see it. You'll see it in the pay, in the. Uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run R12 first, 50, 502 next, and then the blends uh, MO99, uh, 40410A, uh, uh, 407C, um, and then at the end I'll run 22 in uh, 134 ray so i'm gonna they're gonna come through in sequence and you can look look at the global warming potential third line from the bottom and you'll see what i'm saying so i'm gonna kind of put this little video together and hopefully um you know it can enlighten, enlighten some of you guys that the new refrigerants are better for the better for the environment than the old stuff it's a crock of shit
That's all it is. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.